Welcome everyone to the most exciting hour in professional wrestling. I'm Paul White. Joining me is Daddy Magic. We're excited to get to the ring with our very own Dasha. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Smart Mark Sterling, the team of Ari Davari and the premier athlete, Tony Knees. Well, how about this, Paul? Normally, uh, Mark Sterling comes out here, he's got a microphone in hand, runs down the people, maybe introduces his voice. You, Actually, you gotta like this. I think it's absolutely refreshing. The less I hear from Mark Sterling, the better off the wrestling business is. Wow! The, the entire industry! Take a look. Their opponents already in the ring, the team of Lane Summers and Campbell Myers. Lane S Summers, Campbell Myers. He's got the little, uh, what do you call it, the little sticker under the eyes there, like a Nelly in 2002. It's to keep the lights from reflecting in your eyes. Yeah, but it's just under one eye. I don't think it's not very effective. Might be a previous eye trauma. I think it's more of a style. Oh, maybe. Good call. You think? I know what Kansas City wants to see. Yeah, I agree. Well, I, I think that's an interesting take. I think Kansas City actually paid to see some wrestling competition. I don't think Kansas City knows what it wants exactly. I don't think that's a fair statement, Daddy Magic. This is a center hotbed. Kansas City, nice new airport. Sure is. Home of the Super Bowl champions. Home of the Super Bowl champions. Exactly. Nice collar and elbow tie up here. Take a look at these new uh, red, white, and blue ropes, huh? I like it. I like it. Me too. Oh, he's oh. such a great athlete. Good back elbow. Look so at athletic. That. Evades the clothesline. Nip up. Wow, I'd say Tony Nese is just putting on an offensive attack clinic. Absolutely, absolutely effortless Tony Nese. That's what I think of when I watch him work. Effortless Tony Nese? Yeah, I mean, right? Well, I know he puts a lot of effort in. He's in tremendous condition. I just think he makes it look effortless. Well, that's what I meant. All right. that, that, that's, that's what I meant. Y'all really giving me a hard time here. Uh, I'm not just trying to clarify. Look at the boys just pounding away in the corner. Good full use of that five count by the referee to exit the ring. Ari Davari. Whoop! Huge chop by Ari Davari. Nice club. Oh, yeah, knife edge. Uh, Ari Davari just stood up his opponent on that chop. Sure did. This is Campbell Myers here. In a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Got the Kansas City colors, though. Sure Red does. Orange. Interesting offense drop kick. A little bit of a lackadaisical cover. Didn't have both those shoulders secured, but. Got to feel like uh, Davari, Tony, he's feeling confident here right now at this point of the match. Feeling confident, but I think they're working real well. They're tagging in and out together, isolating the ring. Kind of very confident in what they're doing. Nice strikes by Tony Nese. Kind of playing with them there with those jabs. Well, it's not, it's not a surprise of RC athletes to play with their prey a little bit. I'm still excited over the fact that Mark Sterling never touched the microphone. Hey, you, you, you hate Mark Sterling, huh? H hate's a strong word. Hate's a strong word. Probably loathe is more Lo accurate. Loathe? That might be worse than hate. There's the tag right there. Lane Summers. Lane Summers coming in. Ball of fire, fists of fury. What a look on this guy, huh? He is definitely taking to Ari Dabari. Who is this guy? His hair, the tattoos, the belt around the gear, the colors. Hard turnbuckle too. No! Good flexibility on Ari Dabari's part. Big time. Look at that, Tony Nice. All that for a slap to the face. Yeah, a, bi a big roll. Oh, look at that cutter. And that's got to be it. Double kicks right there. Super kick duo. Boys are in rare form tonight. Frog splash down. How about it? The winners of this match, the team of Tony Nice and Ari Davari. 
Well, no doubt about it, Daddy Magic. Ari Navari, Tony Nese came in, took care of business, showed off a little bit. Varsity athletes looking fantastic. Impressive victory. Super impressive. Best part about it, Mark Sterling never said a word. You're a real piece of work, Paul. I'm consistent. <laughs> Coming up next on Elevation, a big time women's tag team match as Nyla Rose and Marina Shafir are in action. What a way to start off Elevation this evening, the win. The Varsity Athletes, unbelievable folks. We're coming at you live from Kansas City, Missouri. Daddy Magic with you, my partner, Paul White. Paul, the news of the week. News of the week, well, AEW fans, in case you missed it, it was a great event with AEWtogether.org that took place at William Christman High School. Some of your favorite AEW athletes, Kenny Omega, uh, Nick Jackson, Jay Cargill, uh, Austin Gunn, Colton Gunn, Satnam Singh, Captain Sean Dean, all these athletes came out in support of a great cause and played a little basketball. We found out one thing for sure. What did we find out? Isaiah Cassidy has no outside jump shot. <laughs> Isaiah Cassidy! No jump shot. Let's go to the ring with our very own Dasha. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first the team of the problem, Marina Shafir and the native beast, Nyla Rose. Man, I tell you, Daddy Magic, I love this duo. So impressive. So complimentary with each other in styles. Nyla Rose, so aggressive, so strong. Marina Shafir, the problem, brings that MMA training and background into play. She's wearing she shoes. Right. She's wearing shoes here, Paul. There you are with the shoe thing. Doing the socks. The socks becoming a thing. I think it keeps her in contact with the mat better. She feels more comfortable. Take a look at Nyla Rose. I mean, there were a lot of great athletes that didn't wear shoes. Kerry Von Erich didn't wear shoes. Their opponents are in the ring, the team of Briar and Sage Hale. Kerry Von Erich. Was it Kerry Von Erich? Yeah. That, the, none of the Von Erichs wore shoes, I don't think. Superfly Snooker didn't Superfly wear shoes. Superfly Snooker, yeah. Samoans. Yeah, it's true. So, I mean, you know, it's not that big a surprise. All right, I was just informed it's only Kevin, Kevin Von Erich. The Kevin only Von Erich, that's right. That was probably Excalibur smart you up. <laughs> He left me hanging, smartened you up. Hey, look. <laughs> you got to pay, right, pay off the right people, Paul. I know. Yeah, I, that's my problem. I don't have my friendship payments up to debt with that talent. Look at that right there. Big time judo throw. That's that a judo throw, right? background that Marina Shafir brings in with those hip thrusts just knocking the wind. Look at that. Right her opponent. Now, she's got the opponent trapped, you know. Look at her go here. Oh, absolutely. Ooh, she might have the most unique style in all of AEW for her offense. Is it unique or effective? I mean, I think it's both. Look at the trap and the flexibility. Shin bone right across the throat, pulling the head down. This top tier athlete. She sure is. Got caught there, though. But not no. How about this Sage Hale? I think that's actually Briar. Briar Hale trying to fight back. Oh, just jumped! That was a throw. Was that an intended German or just uh, throwing out the trash? That's a good well, question. We've, we, well, we've seen Marina Shafir do this before. This is such a bait. Just goating her, her, her opponents in here. Yeah, this is like a, a snare trap or a bear trap just waiting to happen. Hold on, I'm very confused here. The, the, the two ladies, they both have hail on their gear. I think, I think it's, it's uh It's very confusing, it's whoever's Briar like Briar and Sage. Sage is in the red top, Briar is in the black top. I know, very confusing. So this is Sage right now, I believe. It is a set hail, anyway. I gotta let it go. Big overhand shot by Nyla Rose, just really thumps all the wind right out of you. Short shoot back, oh! buckle. That's such a more effective sh shoot reversal, in my point. That, that right short back whip, in the man. same corner, yeah. That short whip right there. 
whip is so effective. Say he's trying to fight back. Look, Look at, at Marina Shafir just tie up the legs real quick. Gator roll. A little bit of a gator roll, I was going to say, yeah. Now she's a certain dominance. Front face lock, trapping the arm, too. Just manhandling her, woman handling her, if you will. but effective, because right now, Sage has to spend all that energy just to breathe. And, oh, man! That could be it right there. Well, the other hail saying, no, sir. Briar with a save. Bri Briar with a save. Nyla Rose save cut that off real quick. Did Nyla just change corners here? I don't know. I think she's attempting to go up top for something. This is very unorthodox here. Oh, we've seen oh, Rose boy. do this move before. No. That's the move that broke Britt Baker's elbow. I'm out. I'm out. Wow. Rick Knox just going to let it go tonight. Wow. The aggressive cover on Marina Shafir. She actually tried to hook the ankle on that cover. I mean, I'm surprised here in the, in the fight in the hails. Good job oh. by Sage. Pull Breyer down. Double close on the but not the ball. They got her over. Wow. Sisters working together. Good angle pick by Marina Shafir. Uh, not even a one count there. Is this a submission we're looking for here? Oh my yeah, god! Oh my goodness! Look at that! Winners of this match by submission, the team of Nyla Rose and Marina Shafir. That was, that was an instant tap. I didn't even know that was possible. She just, it looked like she just snatched a body part. That was an incredible display of mixed martial arts and grappling. Oh boy, Nyla we're Rose not done. Nyla Rose isn't done yet. Nyla Rose isn't done yet. <laughs> Two for one. How do you do? I love it. Everybody loves a good special. Ryder took exception to that finish. Still wanted more action against Nyla Rose. Didn't pay off. Oh, Paul, they're twins. They're sisters. Hail's their last name. They I told came you. up short tonight. Your winners on elevation. The native beast, Nyla Rose. And the problem, Marina Shafir. They're sisters. Up next on Elevation Women's Singles Competition, Willow Nightingale. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Long Island, New York, Willow Nightingale. One of your favorites. One of my favorites, too. I have a lot of respect for Willow Nightingale. She's actually one of the women in the AEW Women's Locker Room that has stepped up against the antics of the ROH Women's Champion, Athena. Her opponent, already in the ring, Maggie Lee. As we take a look at Maggie Lee. Maggie Lee looks serious. She's in there with a heck of a champion. Former champion. And Willow. Bryce Remsburg, the official for this contest. Bryce Remsburg's head looks a little shiny today. I mean, he's a fresh shave. <laughs> or a good waxing. <laughs> a good waxing! Hey, you got a bald head, a little waxing makes it shine. Is that what you do, a little wax? Sometimes. <laughs> you pay for that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stuff. Willow yeah. Nightingale, nice headlock here, try to control the tempo. I think she just gave Maggie Lee a noogie on yeah, top. A little noogie, like she's the older sister. Right? Oh, you can't just stand there when Willow's running at you like yeah. that. Willow gets moving, she's that strength to her advantage. You gotta get out the way. That's twice now. There we go, try a little something different. Duck under her shoot off. Oh yeah. Yeah, too smart for you, Willow. <laughs> Oh, boy, I don't know about this one. Maggie Lee going for a Texas to strength. I mean, Maggie Lee does have a little bit of a height advantage. Sure does. Here. Look at those long limbs right there. Yeah, how do you oh like that? Oh, boy, I don't know. Trying to play a little psychological games with Willow here. Well, the Willow's pretty even-tempered, though. 
Yeah, what's it take to get under Willow's skin, you think? I don't know. She's like the pillar of positivity. Well, you, you think she's as positive when she, like, when she loses her cell phone, maybe? I, I don't know. I know no? the one person that's gotten under her skin has been Athena here on Elevation. We know that. Oh! Is that a pounce? I thought we were going to see a little crisscross. Well, that was like a drive-by hit by a truck. Good for Willow. That's three big-time shoulder tackles we've seen from Willow as the straps come down here. Hey, you know, there's an old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh! Poor Maggie Lee's in a lot of trouble right now. Oh, yeah. These tests of strength antics aren't paying off. She woke up, and she's in the big leagues here! Powerbomb City! It's over. The winner of this match, Willow Nightingale. Solid effort by Maggie Lee here on Elevation, but Willow Nightingale was just too much of a powerhouse to deal with. Oh boy, what is this? There's the ever smiling, ever happy. Willow Nightingale, your winner tonight. Dark Elevation. Kansas City. Up next on Elevation, the reality Zach Clayton with Anya takes on the firm's Lee Moriarty and Big Bill. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first the team of Anaya and the reality, Zach Clayton. The reality, Zach Clayton. I would definitely have to say he's more of a brawler. Yeah, no question. Yeah, he's I got that whole Jersey thing of, yeah, let's just fight. Not, not a guy who always plays well with others. Definitely not. Just going to put that out there. We'll see how it goes here tonight. And their opponents had a combined weight of 467 pounds. The team of Taiga style, Lee Moriarty and Big Bill. Take a look at Big Bill. He's impressive. Woo! He's impressive. This is a pretty unique team. You've got that incredible offensive ability from Lee Moriarty, and then you've got backup like Big Bill. That's for sure. Doesn't even use the steps. One step to the ring apron, one step over the top rope. On paper, th this should really work out, these two together, right? It, it should. It's like a, a dream team when you put them together. You, you're covering both sides. You ever play that game Risk when you were younger? Absolutely. Yeah, he, they definitely got their long range and short range covered. A little bit of everything here. Big Bill, Lee Moriarty. Kind of the same kind of matchup here, though, with Anya and, and Zach Clayton. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how Zach Clayton gets along here with it with his newfound tag team partner. Zach Clayton has a little bit of a height disadvantage against Big Bill, but he makes up for it just being a brawler. I think everybody has a height disadvantage. Maybe not you. No, not me. Big Bill. Not me. The only gives me a run for my money is that Satnam Singh guy. <laughs> Big clothesline right there by Zach Clayton. That's what we talk about. That bullying. That is what Zach Clayton is. Uh, Instead of a bully. Uh, maybe, no? Maybe more of like a, a dock worker thug mentality. A dock worker thug mentality. Yeah, like there's nothing, you know, there's no frills and thrills with Zach Clayton. He's just into chopping meat. Oh, big catch right there. Lee Moriarty in trouble. Wow. Lee Moriarty be able to use his whole body weight no! on the back of the neck of Zach Clayton. And Zach Clayton answers with an effective lariat across Just the took throat. his face off with that thing. Wow. Now we're going to see here. Zach Clayton, Anya, how, how are we going to gel as a team here? You know, we've, we've seen Zach Clayton over the weeks go through a couple tag team partners. Well, we've seen him leave some tag team partners, too. That's right. I mean, Zach Clayton's not into a lot of, like I said, he's not into, like, thrills and frills. He's very serious about being a competitor here in AEW. It's right to business. Was that a DDT? That was a float over DDT. That just shows that athletic ability of Lee Moriarty. Nice, nice nip up right there. What are we, oh, what, what is this, a little guitar? Is this air guitar action? 
I'm actually a former world champion air guitar player. Are you for real? I'm a world champion air guitar player. How about man. that, huh? You Learn. didn't think I was as good as Tom Morello the way I play an air guitar. Learn something new every, every time, every week here on Elevation. You know, if I was Lee Moriarty, I think I'd go make a tag. You think? But, you know, Lee Moriarty's having fun right now. Look at him. Little, little he's got that, there. that shuffle, that rocky oh! oh! Oh, how do you do, Zach Clayton? I got a feeling Lee Moriarty set that up. Woo! That fired me up. Big knee strikes to the head. Nice I mean, leg trip. Moriarty's doing this all on his own here. Zach Clayton took exception to it. Kansas City wants Big Bill, it sounds like. Big Bill's probably going to come in as a closer. Nice big right hand by There we go. That's a little ovation for Big Bill. Oh, oh Goodness boy. gracious. What's that? Zach Clayton minded his own business. Big, Bull launch, big Bill launched that boot from midway across the ring. We're going to look in this man's eyes. He's feeling, he looks a little supercharged. Right I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he's used to the cheers, Big Bill. Looks like he had, maybe not. He looks like he had won too many espressos with that look. <laughs> Oh, I know that game. Oh boy, Enya's in trouble here. Just power. Oh, poor Zach Clayton minding his own business. Ow! Oh! Well, you can't really feel too bad for Zach Clayton. He kind of brings it on himself. Oh boy! I've seen a lot of big boots in pro wrestling. That's one of the most impressive ones I've ever seen. What is that, a size 17 right in the face? It's a 17. There's so much power behind it. Simple but effective. Holy smokes. Scooping them up here. And down. Woo. Winners of this match, the team of Big Bill and Lee Moriarty. Take a look right there at our winners. Didn't go so well for poor Zach Clayton, huh? Yeah, I know. I like Big Bill being a powerhouse. I don't know about his dancing with the stars routine. I like this. Th He's got that air guitar over there, Lee Moriarty. Big Bill doing a little dance. Definitely both these guys are having fun. We're having a good time here on Elevation. Great win for Big Bill and Lee Moriarty from the firm on Elevation. Up next on Elevation, it's an ROH Women's World Title Proving Ground match. Tootie Lynn takes on the champion, Athena. The following contest is a Ring of Honor Women's World Title Proving Ground match. Introducing first, from Dallas, Texas, she is the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, the Fallen Goddess, Athena! Well, there's a, the many faces of Athena. My favorite part of Monday nights here. I know you're a big fan of the Afterbell antics. I love it all, Paul, I love it all. Her opponent, already in the ring, Tootie Lynn. Tootie Lynn. What an opportunity for the young lady here. Tootie Lynn, getting those, first, those match anxieties out, staying warmed up, staying light on her feet. Some nerves, maybe. That, that nervous tension. You got to be nervous when you're in there with ROH women's. Oh, nice struck by Tootie. That's how you want to start. That's how you want to start out of the gate. I'm telling you right now, though, Tootie, she's going to have to look out for the right hand, the right forearm from Athena. There's Athena. She just changes gears so fast. Oh, boy, looking for DDT. Block the DDT. Oh, I don't think so, she says. Look at his scoop here, Paul. Pretty powerful. Woo! Total disregard on that scoop slam. Just toss poor Tootie away. Of course, this is a Ring of Honor women's title proving ground match. If Tootie can somehow get the win, it'll earn herself a Ring of Honor Women's Championship match down the line. One thing Athena does a great job of, she eliminates any competition. Because even though this isn't for the Ring of Honor Women's Championship, this is an oh. opportunity to compete for it. Is she out? Tootie's out there right hand, got her. Hold on here. That was a pretty aggressive chunk. 
opportunity. Might have hit her head and been out. I think it's over. <laughs> the winner of this match, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. How about that? Well, hopefully Mike Posey will check on Judy and make sure she's okay. I don't think she's going anywhere. That's a pretty plus knockout. It happens occasionally. How about it? That's the power of Athena. That's what we've been seeing every week since the month of October here. Well, I was talking about that scoop, Sam. was a little aggressive the way she chunked Judy. Judy might have just had a bad fall. Come on! Every Everything Athena does is aggressive. Look at this. Judy coming to here. Nice show of compassion here Very by nice. Athena. This Very is nice. nice. This is somebody could take home your mother. I agree. Well. No? Gonna help her through the ropes here. Like a gentlewoman. That's pretty good sportsmanship by Athena. I gotta tell you, I'm impressed. This is great. Oh, no! No! <laughs> yes! Athena yes! swerved me. Giving Daddy what he wants here. Look at this. Gonna get a little stretch around the post, Paul. Little bow and arrow action, crushing those ribs against the ring post. I don't think that bell's gonna do much. Tootie's in a lot of trouble here. This is. Better watch it, Posey. Look at the brazen. Oh, boy. On a oh. oh, no. Emmy. Emmy Sakura, the queen's in here, holding up the ROH Women's Championship. Maybe she just wants a little tea time with, uh, with, the, with Athena. Uh-oh. I don't know who to root for. Oh! Well, isn't karma interesting? How about this? Emmy taking a seat, the queen. Could this be what we see in the future? This could be an incredible matchup. Emmy Sakura, the queen, tells the RH Women's Champion, Athena, I am not afraid or intimidated by you. I love it. Monday night, elevation, Paul. Fantastic. Coming up next, it's a six-man tag team match as the Spanish Announce Project takes on Matt Hardy, Ethan Page, and Isaiah Cassidy. Viva! The following contest is a trios match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, the team of Angelico, Luther, and Serpentico. Spanish announced project. Look at these guys. You gotta love these guys, they are insane. I love Angelico, he just rolls to the world with his own crew. Serpentico, AEW's world's toughest man, pound for pound. What about Luther? Luther, so many things about Luther. Luther is one of the original Stu Hart Dungeon Masters members that is still competing on TV today. What? Unbelievable. And their opponents, the team of Isaiah Cassidy, Matt Hardy, and- Cut the music. Uh oh. Listen, 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 guys. I thank you, Matt. Thank you. I know usually I'm the definition of positivity. <laughs> I'm supportive. I'm trying to be a good friend. I'm just, I'm not feeling it today. I, I'm, I'm in a foul mood, Matt, and I don't know what to. Please. Listen, best friends don't let best friends stay sad. Myself, Isaiah, and all these people, we're gonna turn that frown upside down. How about that, Paul? Because I'm here with my main man and my moan man, and we are ready to party hardy. My moan man? Right, Listen, Paige, I know what you want. I do. And I know what Missouri needs. They want a party hardy, baby! I want a party hardy. So check this out. If you guys ready to party hardy with hardy party, can I get a huh, yeah, huh, yeah, uh. yeah. 
And I gotta tell you, Matt Hardy, Isaiah Cassidy seem to be taking uh, Stokely's loss uh, last Wednesday night pretty well. Yeah, all you say so. Ethan Page isn't feeling it very much right now. He yeah. seems a little gloom, a little gloom and doom. A little upset, I would say. He I probably mean, saw Isaiah Cassidy's basketball three-point shot. <laughs> What, what do you think's worse, his three-point shot or is it his, his batting stance last summer playing softball? Oh, uh, it's a good thing Isaiah Cassidy can wrestle, that's for sure. No doubt. Big time six six-man tag team match here, Paul. This, this, this big time elevation here. A lot of experience in that ring, a lot of incredible talent. Aubrey Edwards officiating this contest. There'll be no BS out there with Aubrey Edwards, that's for sure. Isaiah Cassidy, Angelico, starting things off. That's the thing, you can learn a lot about chain wrestling watching Angelico. So smooth. One of the most underrated chain wrestling masters in pro wrestling. Tremendous athleticism Isaiah Cassidy has in the ring. Both men here going hold for hold. And Helico just does all the right little things in chain wrestling. He's excellent, It's right? almost poetic to watch him compete. Quick action here. Both men going back and forth. Nicely done by Isaiah Cassidy. Oh! Held onto the wrist. Nice spinning back kick. Get on him. Get him to your corner. Let's get a tag going here, Isaiah. There we go. Very smart. Get Matt Hardy in. Everywhere we go, the people love Matt Hardy, huh? How could you not? Matt Hardy pretty much revolutionized tag team wrestling. Absolutely. Kansas City loving it here tonight. They're going to be loving it next week in St. Louis. Long Island, New York, the week after that, April the 5th. AEW coming to your town. We're going to be everywhere. Look at this here. How about it? Isaiah Cassidy feeling it. So much pressure on that wrist that locks that elbow out. That a smart move on Matt Hardy's part. Take away one of those aggressive limbs of Van Helico. Serpenta goes in there. Maybe too much dancing by Isaiah Cassidy, huh? Yeah, maybe that's part of his mojo. When you're that athletic. Oh! It's Tejera, he's taking Serpenta go over. Nicely done. Took him right off his feet. And here comes Matt Hardy tagging in again. I mean, I think you're right. Ethan Page here, he's distraught. Doesn't look like he wants to be here. Which is surprising, because usually all ego Ethan Page is all about it. Cover. He's, he's the loudmouth, right? He's the one with the most excitement and the most to say. But I got it, it, it's nice to see Isaiah Cassidy, Matt Hardy, trying to lift his spirits, you know? They're gelling as a team here. Things are good. I think that's what you do for a teammate. Oh! Big back elbow by Matt Hardy. Oh, watch it, Matt! <laughs> Luther! Luther just comes by and decapitates poor Matt Hardy. I like that. What do you call that? A dance? A strut? What was that Luther was doing? Disturbing. <laughs> it was disturbing! That's good. Disturbing. And Helico thinks of a ways to tie up his opponents. Take a look at the page. Ethan page isn't even watching the match. He's taking a seat. He's turned his back. Maybe he needs a good uh, cup of tea, you know, a nice steep. And something. Maybe a Red Bull. An Earl Grey. Yeah, his night's done, I think, Ethan Page. Nice snap suplex by Luther. Luther taking care of business here. Doesn't need to hit all you go, Ethan Page. You go, <laughs> Ethan Page isn't even involved. He's checked out. Oh! Of course, the Pentagon always takes uh, such a beating. Does it for the team, though, Surf. A real team player. Oh, no. I don't think this is going to no. work out well. <laughs> Porsche Pentico wasn't able to support the mass of Luther. What was Luther thinking? I imagine it was like stepping on a plum. Nothing happened. Poor Paige. Uh, I'm a professional at this Whoa, point. There it is. The side effect. Now, already the side effect, Ethan Page needs to suck it up and get over it. This is pro wrestling, baby. Lace up your boots. Let's go. There it is. <laughs> All right. I'm this orthodox, man but I'm through Port Serpentico. The big That's time. The thing about the Macedonian monster. 
Look at this. This is a real team right here now, Paul. Big Ethan Page here breaking out in Kansas City. Even the fans are trying to get all ego motivated. I think it's working. Little energy. Oh! That could be it. Double save by Angelico and Luther. I think the SAP knew they had to break it up there. Got a little triple team action on Serp in the corner. Is that a squeak by Isaiah Cassidy? It was a squeak. Wow. I would have expected a moan. Here we go. They love to use this. Look at this. Matt Hardy's giving him the twist of fate. Quite an honor. He's letting him do it. There it is. Well, that snap force of Pentagon in half that twist of fate. How about that? I'm impressed with these three guys. All ego Ethan Page sharing some of the glory. He really is. Is he? This is unlike anything we've seen from these three. There it is. The winners of this match, the team of Matt Hardy, Ethan Page, and Isaiah Cassidy. Well, Hardy Party was able to pull all ego Ethan Page out of that slump. Ego, ego Page uh, returned the favorite Isaiah Cassidy. He's Let him feeling good. The top for Swanton. He's, he's dancing now. He's loving life. All's good in Hardy Party Land. How about Those it? Your winners: Matt Hardy, All Ego Ethan Page, Isaiah Cassidy. Up next on Elevation, your main event: Diamante versus Rio. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Miami, Florida, the Amante. Woo! The Amante comes to the ring with such present that 305 attitude. She is ready to go tonight. Your main event here on Dark Elevation Monday nights. This is going to be a great one. It sure is. The 305 Bandito. And her opponent from Shinagawa, Japan, Riho. And here she comes. There's Riho, one of our fan favorites here in AEW. Just noticed it a little bit. Look at this shape and conditioning that Diamante's in. How about it? And she needs to be. She takes on the number one contender for the women's championship here. All right, here we go. Main event time here on Elevation. Nice leg trip by Diamante controlling the tempo, the headlock. Rio needs to get some separation. I was trying to get it out before, but Rio, the number one contender, going to be taking on Jamie Hayter. Jamie Hayter, our women's champion. Long Island coming up April the 5th. But first, she's got to get by Diamante here. A little ground and pound. Jamie Hayter's been on quite a run here in AEW. Now, no question there. Very effective. Her and Dr. Britt Baker have been working very well together. Nice a slam. slam by Diamante. Very he nice. Took the words right out of my mouth. As long as it's not my food, we're okay. <laughs> you know, you, you I gotta say, Diamante's in tremendous shape. She looks great. She's working great here. You gotta wonder, is this a bit of a trap, like a trap game for Rio? Maybe looking forward to April the 5th, Long Island. Yeah. For a big title match. You get a chance to compete for championship <laughs> gold, it's on your mind, but you can't lose focus on future opportunities, you have to take care of the here and now. And right now, she's in the ring with Diamante. I mean, absolutely. And Diamante looks like she wants to make an impression. Diamante, a top competitor for us here at AEW. This huge opportunity for her. I think Diamante knows that. If Diamante can beat Riho, 
And that kind of qualifies her to also be in that running for the AEW Women's Championship. No question about it. Very competitive division here in the AEW Women's Division. What are we looking for here? Big superplex, maybe. There's that strength of Diamante, balance. Rio knew she's in trouble fighting out of it. Those big clubs across the back, trying to wear Diamante down. Big shot off of Diamante off the second rope. Oh, wow! Top rope, double boot, gut stomp. How about that? Followed it right up, man. Boy, Diamante's in trouble on that one. That just blew all the wind right out of the breadbasket. If Rio can get over here, get a cover, maybe. Diamante to her feet, both ladies now. Nicely done here. Rio setting up. Diamante's got to move, right? Got to move. Oh! Right in the face! Big that was kick a close cover. That was a big high knee strike to Diamante's face. And this is a match we got here, Paul. I think that elevated condition that Diamante's put herself through saved her on that one. Absolutely. Both these ladies well conditioned. Two top athletes. Look at the experience of Diamante known to drop her weight to make herself twice as heavy. Just hammering away there on the back of Rio. Those clubs take their toll. No! Oh! Nice course group. Wish you could have her here. Two! So close. Diamante thought she had it. A little frustrated right now in Diamante. You see it on her face there. You can see it. Now some words that we can't repeat here on. Well, you can don't mean they're going to be aired. <laughs> Big strikes by Rio. Big heavy strikes. She got cut. No. Big German by Diamante. Oh, she's going to hold her on here. She's holding on. Taking her for a ride. Diamante likes to give three of these. Ooh, look at that, Rio. Diamante trying to counter. Oh! Rio was in a lot of trouble right there. That was close. Paul Turner saying two. It looked like three to me. Paul Turner was right. Rio got that shoulder up. Good officiating by Paul Turner. Big running high back elbow right into Rio's chin. Here we go. We got a cover. That could be it. There it is. Wow. Winner of this match, Rio. What a match, Paul. Excellent fight from underneath, and that's why Rio's getting that opportunity against Jamie Aver. Rio basically was fighting from underneath the whole time. That offensive onslaught by Diamante was still able to secure a win. No doubt. What a match. What a main event. As we take a look at your winner, Rio, here, going on April the 5th, Long Island, New York, taking on Jamie Hayter for that women's championship. AEW Women's Championship on the line. Long Paul White. Daddy Magic. Daddy Magic, my man. Thank you so much for joining us in the most exciting hour in professional wrestling elevation. See you next week.